Thank you for joining us for the news at 530. I'm Tyler Mannion. It's been exactly one week since Tropical Storm Debbie started impacting our area. Since historic flooding from the storm has damaged many houses. Our Mackenzie Baker spoke with one family who lost their home to floodwaters and is now also facing a difficult business decision. Adelina Wilson, her husband and their four children were at home in Savannah when flood water from Tropical Storm Debbie started creeping in. She says they heard the news that flooding was coming, but they hardly believed it as their yard was bone dry at the time. Within a couple hours, it was like already coming up to our ankles. Like what just happened? We try to grab what we can. I'm like, we need to go this. We have to go. With their house destroyed, their only choice was to find a temporary place to stay while looking for a new home. In the middle of the flooding chaos, the family also has not one, but two businesses to run. The Wilsons own Happy Days Ice Cream Parlor. They have one location in Bloomingdale and another in Guyton. Because everything they own in their home got damaged in the flood, the family is deciding whether they have to close one of their shops. It just feels like a setback, but at the same time, it's needed to make, keep making 10 steps forward eventually in the future. Adelina says right now they're in limbo, not just with their ice cream shops, but also with getting access to resources. They were renting their house when it flooded and don't know if their renter's insurance will cover any damages. Adelina also says she's left a couple calls with United Way, among others, and is waiting for calls back. FEMA has yet to declare any affected areas as disaster zones. It's challenging, um, but we're keeping the faith. Um, what we're grateful for is that we all have each other. We're all safe. Mackenzie Baker, WTOC News. You can also help families impacted by flooding in Richmond Hill right now. New Life Church on State Road 144 has released a list of donation items that they're looking for. They say they're looking to get personal hygiene items like soap, toilet paper, and toothpaste, as well as non-perishable foods like Gatorade, cereal, and energy bars, along with baby items like wipes, diapers, and formula. You're asked to drop those off at the church on Highway 144 in Richmond Hill. If you're looking to do that, we've got first alert meteorologist Jamie Ertle in with us. Jamie, what's the weather looking like for the upcoming few days? Well, it's looking good for the evening. <laughs>